Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm sorry for the voiceover for this beginning part. Something happened to the microphone. So here we are. Um, welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. Thank you all for being here. This is um, this is a general reading so it will not resonate with everybody. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And we will get started here as soon as the cards get down on the table. Um, let us see. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate everyone being here. Uh, we have, it uh, looks like, the star card. We have the ace of pentacles. This is for October. Again, general reading. And we are showing the knight of pentacles. So we have pentacles here. Um, Knight of Pentacles, money coming in. Could be slow money. Pentacles aren't the fastest of the suits. Uh, but you do have new potential here with the Ace of Pentacles. It could be a new job. It could be a new to you um, way to make money. It could be something that you're going to do that is um, to supplement your income. Um, you could be waiting for some, uh, like a check somewhere, like a government check or something to come in also. But it's kind of slow moving with that uh, Knight of Pentacles energy there that we have going on. And um, let's see what else we have. All right. You know, sometimes when we are doing a new job, we get paid every other week or, you know, once a month even. I feel like money's coming in. It's it's coming towards you because this is this is your middle card right here. But I also feel like there's a new potential, a new opportunity, maybe to make extra money, maybe a raise, maybe some type of um, um, promotion here. Somebody has seen you. Somebody is seeing you. Somebody sees your potential. Is what I feel. We have the star card, and this is something you've been hoping and dreaming and wanting to manifest for a long time. This is something you've been having in the works. This is maybe since you were a child or since you were a young adult. Something that you've wanted to manifest. Something that you've wanted to, um, I almost feel like transform because of these butterflies. Maybe whatever this is has transformed you in a good way. Hmm. Star is a card of Aquarius. If that has any significance here for you. But I feel like this is something that you've, you've wanted, you've hoped for, you dreamed for, you've worked for. Um, having that extra finances, extra money coming in. That Knight of Pentacles. Pull a clarifier for the star, please. I feel like with the star too, it's like you, you're, you know, you're the alchemist. You are, you're mixing it. You're getting it right. Maybe in the past you haven't, and I feel like this time you're getting it right. Yeah, you have the world, absolutely. So whatever it is that you're wanting is coming full circle. The hanged one. For the Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So with the Star card, with what you're wanting to manifest, you have the world, and the world is the last card of the Major Arcana. It is the um, the culmination, you know, these kids trick or treat, their main goal was candy and they got it, so that is over for them their costumes and their candy and that's that's Halloween this is whatever you're manifesting is coming into fruition and it is going to come full circle I feel um, there could be travel involved with this but I feel like you're coming full circle in something um, oh I, I got right back where you started but in a different way right back where you started but in a different way yeah coming full circle on something um, I don't feel like you're closing a chapter out, but I feel like you are, oof, it's kind of like when you do a labyrinth or you do a, a spiral, 
Well, you go down and you feel like, oh, I'm so low. But when you go up, you're one rung higher. When you go down, you feel like you're low, but then you're one rung higher when you come up. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Hanged One in the middle. This talks to me about really thinking about your next move. This is the middle card. So this is what you're going through right now is what I feel. This is the energy that's coming in with you. Um, and I, you could be like coming full circle, the end of a job, but coming into a different position, something like that. Same place, but a different position. Um, you have really done a lot of soul work on yourself. Some people call it shadow work. Some people call it, you know, um, kind of the dark side of life where you have almost put yourself on pause and maybe you didn't associate with friends much or maybe you didn't do, you know, fun things much, but you are, you put yourself in this position so you could stop so you could think and you could really figure out what you wanted your next move to be is what I feel. Um, so you could see, you know, there's an illumination here with this card. It's a card of Pisces, the hangman. You have Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like you put yourself on pause. You put yourself almost like on hold till you could figure yourself out. Um, I feel, Leo, you know, you know that nobody else can figure themselves out but you. Nobody else can figure you out but you. Then with the King of Pentacles here, or I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups. So this is a card of whatever emotional freedom means to you. And I feel with this Knight of Pentacles, whenever this money comes in or whatever comes in that's owed to you, or it's almost like I feel with this card and it's not but I feel like his hand is holding up the pumpkin and I feel like that's his hand holding up the pumpkin see what I'm saying I feel like it's just a close-up of this it's like it's coming in for you it's coming into you just be patient I know it is coming and, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is one of the slowest knights in the deck. This horse happens to be moving, which most of them are not. Um, but it's going to allow you to have emotional freedom. It's going to allow you um, to take a breath. Um, you're going to have this uh, celebration, whatever it is for you. Sometimes it's a, a, a marriage and kids or a house or whatever this is for you. It's going to bring that emotional freedom when this finances comes in, when this uh, new position takes hold or you're able to um, take control of this money is what I feel. But again, it's it's deep contemplation, concentration that led to everything. Subconsciously, you have the Four of Cups. And again, I feel like this is seeing what you possibilities and not seeing what's being offered here. And that could be this pumpkin or this pentacle coming in right here see and you're so caught up on things that you think should happen or a certain way things you think things should happen that you're not seeing something being given to you or being started for you or being ignited for you so my advice here is to kind of get out of your head get out of your feelings get out of your emotions over a situation over whatever it is you're waiting for Whatever it is that you are contemplating, you know, you've done your work, let go, let the universe. 
and pay attention to what's around you. Pay attention to what's coming in. Pay attention to your text messages. Pay attention to your phone calls. Pay attention to new people you meet that might have some type of influence over what you want to do or what you want to start. This could be a side hustle job. This could be a new opportunity for something. This could be, again, going back to a going back to a different, how did I word that? Going back, right back where you started from, but in a different way. Going back to um, maybe a job, but as a, um, a leader or as a, a counselor or as a teacher or something like that is what I'm feeling. But stay firm, have faith, because you have the star card here. It's beautiful, the star of the world. You can't go wrong with those two cards, ever, at all. Star is a card of Aquarius. And know that your feelings, your emotions, everything's being validated. Everything's in check, and everything is going to uh, work out for you as full, exactly as how you want them to. All right, just have patience. Health, career, finance, and love. Health, career, finance, and love. Health, oops. Health. <laughs> I always turn them down. Career. Finance. And cards. Love for Leo. Love for Leo. Show Leo some love. Right there. Alright, Leo. For your health. When I let others shine, I shine too. I feel like this is something that you, you know, you're Leo and you love to shine. Let's let's face it, right? And I feel like you show people how to help themselves take care of themselves. Um, I feel like you set an example, Leo. I feel like you are, um, you know, this is what we do. This is what we, how we do things. Blood work, mammograms, you know, prostate exams, whatever it is that you have to do, you do it and you show, you tell others, and this is what I do. And, you know, because maybe people go, you look so good, what do you do? And you might go, well, I don't do sugar or I don't do this or I don't do that. But you also do, I take care of my health. I'm, I'm always making sure my blood's good and making sure that's good and you know that our blood work even if we do that once a year can tell so much about what's going on with our bodies so I feel like you lead by an example with that your career I am of the earth and in harmony with nature so I feel you're very grounded in your career I feel like you are you know the pentacles is all about the grounded energy and it's beautiful testament to that and I feel like you are very much um, in your element in your career I feel like you're very much in your element in your career you could have a very um, creative career as well there could be a lot of creativity in what you do your finances Leo I surrender to the power of prayer and devotion um, I feel like this is, you know, I feel like we've all been here. <laughs> um, please let the money be there when the check clears, kind of that kind of energy. I also feel like you are, again, praying for this money to come in, praying for this bump or lump sum or back pay or just pay in general. You know, I feel like that's coming in and you are, you know, just absolutely sending it out to the universe to come in to that energy and your love you have proper rest helps me feel and look my best um, if you're in a relationship I feel that again there's a lot of give and take in the relationship and there's a lot of taking care of each other in this relationship there's a lot of um, understanding and nurturing and caring in this relationship Leo and you know one thing about Leo they do need their rest you all do need your rest to look your best I mean that is you all probably coined that phrase um, but your partner is very understanding and loving and caring and loves you and supports you in what you do and how you how you need what you what you need and um, they never question you at all 
I feel also that, um, you know, not only does proper rest help you look your best, but it helps you function. I feel without it, you have that fuzzy head and you, you, you don't know which ends up sometimes. So you do need that rest and don't be afraid to say, I sleep 15 hours if you need it, right? Uh, if you're not in a relationship, I feel like, um, right now you could just be taking care of you. You could just be concentrating on you and not concentrating on maybe finding a mate or finding somebody. Um, I feel like, you know, maybe healing from something you went through in the past or just uh, catching up on, on being you with yourself is what I feel. You know, um, having that alone time with you and rest. And it doesn't mean sleep. You don't have to sleep, sleep. You can just rest where you're not go, go, going, and you're not running to bars, and you're not, not that there's anything wrong with that, but you're not uh, actively pursuing a, um, a person right now. I feel like you are, you're taking care of you for the sake of you, because, you know, that is what you need to do. All right, one more card for you guys. I love this card here, Leo. I love, I'm, I am the earth and in har I am of the earth and in harmony with nature. I love the balance in that card. Alright. Even though um, you're not an earth sign, I do like that groundedness that you're feeling. And that a lot comes from this hanged man or hanged one card. All right, one more for Leo, please. Whoop. It's a spell. All right. It's on the floor. Owl. The wisdom. The wisdom of the wise, right? Answers you're seeking. Finding answers that you are looking for. Um, the moon here. The full moon in October, Leo, we have a full moon um, in Aries on October 17th. And that's all about uh, setting bold intentions, you know, um, bringing alignment into your life. Uh, we have a new moon in Libra on the 2nd of October. And bringing more balance into your life as well so you have alignment and balance with that moon but I feel like this is wisdom and I feel too that this is life's wisdom this is what you've learned through your life what you've learned as far as how far you've come already kind of looking back and going wow you know 10 years ago there's no way I could have done this or five years ago there's no way I could have done this or manifested this or been by myself for two weeks or whatever the case may be um, getting in touch with my emotions getting in touch with my feelings there's no way there's no way I thought I'd be earning this kind of money you know when you kind of look back on that energy but we have the owl and we have wisdom with this owl and we have answers to what we're seeking doors will open um, you know we're gonna find uh, find what we're looking for I feel with this with this uh, key here and I almost feel like it's like a Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz it's like you you've known this all along I feel like none of this I'm telling you is is like a eye-opening or a oh wow it's like yeah mm -hmm, yeah I knew that yeah but not in a way of you might not have been living that, if that makes any sense. It's like you might have known that. Maybe you didn't know why you were, you know, going through a dark night of the soul and searching until you realized that maybe it was for this new job or new position or, you know, new promotion that, or new potential coming in. Um, but you still didn't maybe associate the two and maybe I brought it together and you go, oh, yeah, that's why. I, I knew that, but I didn't... Um, realize it or whatever but this owl energy is great wisdom and great um great attention you know paying attention to detail paying attention to what's around you seeing things and people for who they really are um watching 
sometimes watching and not speaking you know watching observing what's going on around you sometimes that can unlock the door that can be the key that can be the catalyst to what you're looking for love it love it love it <sighs> leo let me know how this resonates with you um take care of yourselves and each other if you know any other leo that this sounds like please feel free to share even if they're not a leo and you th think of somebody going through something similar go wow they really, this is for them. They need to hear this. I'd appreciate that. Take care. Stay safe. Be blessed. And again, good luck to you all. Happy Halloween. Blessed Samhain. And I will see you guys next month. Bye for now.